Hello, my favorite butter cookies filled with chocolate cream. Aha! <laughs> uh, one day, one day I'm going to run out of these lines and I will not know what to say for my intro, for my videos. Uh, I'm Winter, I'm back here in my Ultra Flat Core Challenge and uh, I am facing again the... Did I just kill a glass panel? What? <laughs> I'm faced again with the challenge of living the church without getting hurt. Uh, oh, skeleton, talking about getting hurt. Careful, cause big slimes are dangerous, I dare you. Today, uh, first things first, I will let you know that today, okay, this, uh, this is dangerous. I want to do one thing that I haven't still quite done here in this challenge for some reason. I'm not sure why. I guess I just did not think about it. Did not think about it. Uh, okay, this really is dangerous. Careful, careful, go. Oh, skeleton. Oh, creeper. Okay, um, creeper <laughs> in the house. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay, I'm leaving this village. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I wanted to do something in here, but I guess I'll do that in the next village I find. <laughs> the thing I wanted to do was check, start the checking what the villagers have to offer. You know, start checking the trades, because the time for settling down in a single village is getting very close. I almost have everything I need. I could actually settle down right now because I have everything. The only thing I'm missing is the obsidian for the nether portal, but uh, I have seven blocks of obsidian plus two lava buckets. So if I stop in a village with a blacksmith, I can use the my lava plus the lava in the smithy um, to make the obsidian I'm missing for the nether portal. And after that, uh, I can get the obsidian I'm missing for the enchanting table uh, in the nether by, by, you know, getting the lava there. So I could actually settle down already right now, but uh, I don't know. I'll just keep going for at least one more episode. Episode? Episode with an H. Or two. Or three. Or more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will start checking for well see what the villagers have villagers have to offer because I'd like to get some stuff from them for example um, I'm sure there was something that I wanted that I don't remember uh, I don't remember watermelons <laughs> watermelons I want the watermelons I want to find one farmer that will trade me watermelons and in ed I I need I need emeralds too so I should, oh village, I should uh, um, grab some wheat and see if I can't trade it for some emeralds. So there you have it. Um, okay, let's get away from those slimes, eat some bread. Do I see smithies? I don't think I do. So, the other day I was checking for uh, I was checking my hard disk for things that I do not need <laughs> because I, I needed to make some speeds for more recordings. Uh, hi. Oh goodness! <laughs> I found the right guy a bit too early and <laughs> I still don't have emeralds. Do you buy wheat? Oh goodness! Six! You say six! I'll buy them. I just, I just need some money. Hi. Can you give me some money? I need, <laughs> I need some money. Ah, uh, hello guys. Can you give me some money? I need a, I need a, I need about three fifty. Thank you. <laughs> oh goodness! Oh crap! Oh crap! I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh well. <laughs> golden apple time. At the end of this episode, I will make myself another golden apple. Ah. So are you the guy, the watermelon guy? Oh yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with ya. Uh, what was I? Oh yes, I was checking for things that I could delete. And uh, is there a smithy here that I haven't seen maybe? No? No, I didn't see them. I don't see any. Okay. <laughs> it was cool. 
I took some damage, but whatever. Six watermelons, it was worth it. <laughs> um, and I found, I happened to find some footage from a previous project of mine that I had abandoned quite some time ago, actually. And uh, I had deleted most of the footage for, for, for some reason, I don't know, maybe I misclicked. Uh, I left a single video, just a part of a, of a video that I made. <laughs> I happened to find it the other day and I watched it again. And it was uh, um, one of... Uh, one project of mine, one let's play of mine. I guess it was the first let's play that I tried to do. Uh, nice farm arrangement we have here. <laughs> Not very centered, but it's nice nonetheless. Um, I should stop getting distracted. Yes, so that let's play of mine was about me playing a super hostile map. Uh, one you probably have heard of because it's one of the most recent ones, if not the most recent one, that Vex has uploaded. Uh, it's called Waking Up. Also, people made a little space out of it. It's a very cool map. And uh, I gave up on it uh, simply because I was sucking too much. <laughs> uh, it, it it's a good map, but it's incredibly hard and the chunk error and I just gave up at a certain point because <laughs> I was failing too badly and I didn't want to upload my failures. No, <laughs> uh, it just wasn't too interesting. So I, I, I wasn't having fun anymore because it was really frustrating, for, uh, frustrating for me and well, whatever. I just decided to stop because it wasn't good enough for me. Um, Where am I going with this? Yes, I found uh, some leftover footage from when I tried to record myself completing that map, completing that super style map, and uh, I rewatched it. Just I found it. I rewatched. I rewatched it before deleting it. And there is one thing that uh, um, I actually liked about it. Uh, I will say that the my. Um, don't stop sprinting. My commentary wasn't uh, too good. I mean, I still don't consider myself really good at doing commentary, but hey, I'm trying to build up experience here. <laughs> and the only way to get better is to keep uh, making videos. So yeah, my videos right now are not perfect, and I'm perfectly aware of it, and, um, but I'm trying my best, you know. And <laughs> so then I was even worse than him now. My commentary really wasn't good. I was still in that mindset uh, that I had at the very beginning. I guess everybody went through it where I'm like, oh goodness, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> it's so weird. I feel so stupid. <laughs> oh, village. Uh, I still was kind of uh, kept... Uh, well, yeah, it wasn't too good. But uh, I was talking about something that actually was interesting. Um... And what was it? Well, if you don't know already, that um, super style map, that specific super style map, is inspired by a story. This story is even included in that map in, that map in the form of uh, written books. Every written book is hidden somewhere and it's a chapter from the story. So you, if you find them all, you can read the entire story that map is based on. Um, this story mentions something that is called lucid dreaming uh, it's not uh, the story is not about lucid dreaming but it does mention them and kind of incorporates them in the plot a, a little bit uh, and well while I was playing through that super style map I was talking about lucid dreams because uh, I am an expert <laughs> about them. No, I'm not. I just happened uh, some years ago to study quite a bit about lucid dreams and I learned how to have lucid dreams and I managed to have lucid dreams for quite a while and uh, I really like that subject. It's something uh, I don't know. It's something I know. It's something I... Ninja Slime! Hello! Okay, not too close. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's something I was talking about while playing that map. Uh, so in the end I never uploaded that footage, I deleted most of it and uh, the other day I deleted the remaining footage too. And that was it. However, um, I don't think uh, that uh, I, I shouldn't make anything out of that. I think the subject of lucid dreams is actually quite interesting and more people should know about it. And since I am a bit knowledgeable about it and I'm really um, enthusiastic about it, I thought that maybe I could talk about lucid dreams uh, here in my Ultra Flatcore series that I am actually <laughs> uploading on YouTube. Uh, so first, I'm going, I, I'm going to ask you, because the subject of lucid dreams is incredibly big and I can't talk about it in like 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm asking you, I'm, I'm going to ask you, would you like to hear me talk about lucid dreams for a couple of episodes or three? Would you be interested in something like this? or not. Uh, yes, no, maybe, I don't care. <laughs> if you could leave a comment in this video and let me know what you think about it, I would appreciate it very much and I'll try to do whatever you guys tell me to. You know, you guys as in you three people that actually watch my videos. <laughs> Let's collect some more wheat and try to find someone to trade them, trade it to. Do you buy wheat? Do you buy wheat? Nobody buys wheat! Do you buy wheat? Oh, boring. Do you buy wheat? Oh, goodness. You all suck, uh, West West. Uh, that's good. So, um... Yeah, I just asked you if you would like to hear me talk about Lucy Dreams for a couple of episodes, but... Uh, See, if you don't know what lucid dreams are, uh, you're going to be a bit uh, at a loss, like uh, you can't know if you would be interested in hearing about those or not. So at least uh, today I'm going to just mention you the very basic things, like what lucid dreams are, why you would want to learn how to have lucid dreams and stuff like that. So, um, where should I start from? Hmm. Let's start from the basics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's probably the smart thing to do. Lucid dreams are dreams, the kind that you have while you're sleeping, that you are in control of. It means that you decide what you are dreaming and you decide what you do inside of your dream. L dreams can be controlled if you didn't know this already. So they can, they can be either the, the kind of dreams that probably most of you have, that is a random sequence of memories and fantasies that kind of get mixed up together and your brain shows them to you in a completely random order with no logic whatsoever and you wake up in the morning thinking what the heck did I just dream about? Either that or you can control them and decide what to dream about. So if you want to dream about, I don't know, you meeting your favorite singer and asking him questions, you can. Or if you want to dream about flying side by side with the birds, with the planes, you can do that. Uh, it's like uh, it's like a video game, it's better than a video game, it's like a virtual reality, a perfect virtual reality that you are in complete control of. And that's the coolest thing you could ever possibly... Obsidian! Oh. Obsidian, obsidian. Guys, 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 I found obsidian. I found obsidian. Da 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 da. Goodness, um. Um. What am I going to do with that? Uh. I can settle down. Uh, I. I kind of wasn't expecting to find obsidian. Um. Uh, I'm a bit at a loss. Should I stop here? I have enough obsidian for the nether portal, so I'm set. How many golden apples can I make out of this? Uh, 
too. Oh, I guess finding one more ingot would make me happy, so I'll keep going. Okay, let's keep going, guys. In search of a single more golden ingot. Um. Yes, in your lucid dreams, you can dream about anything you can possibly imagine, and it's also completely safe. Like, you could dream about jumping from the top of a skyscraper and then just hitting the road below, and you wouldn't get hurt, neither in the dream nor in, of course, in real life. Your body is, isn't going to suffer any kind of injury whatsoever. So, it's completely safe. It's completely safe. You can do anything you can imagine. It's cool. It's just, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to, to learn to lose a dream. But not only that, but you, you can see it also from a practical point of view. That is, uh, as you probably already know, human beings, human race. <laughs> Every person should uh, uh, sleep. It's recommended that everybody sleeps around 8 hours every day. Uh, one hour more, one hour less, less it doesn't matter. But 8 hours on a total of 24, it means that you sleep one third of your, of your day away. Which means that you're going to sleep one third of your entire life. Like, if, you, if you're lucky enough to live for 100 years, you're going to spend 33 of those years... Point three, 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 just sleeping! And it's kind of sad when you think about it, isn't it? Kind like... It feels like a lot of time just wasted, but there's really nothing you can do about it. You shouldn't sleep less than 8-7 hours, because it's not good for your health. I'm not suggesting you sleep less. But, so how could you use this time in a better way? And, uh, well, dreaming, uh, dreaming about things that actually would make you wake up with this giant smile on your face simply because you had this awesome dream it's definitely better than dreaming about completely random stuff that is going... Or maybe even having nightmares. Why would you want to have nightmares if you can actually decide what to dream about? And just dream about the most amazing things you can come up with. So it's going to be... Not only awesome, but even useful. Uh, I will tell you one little secret. Winter Moss secret. <laughs> Uh, when I first learned about lucid dreams, after I had some fun with them, one thing I used to do some time was to study inside of my dreams. Study things about school, you know? Just uh, uh, take uh, uh, another look at things we have done in the lessons of that day. And it works! It <laughs> they <laughs> just, just imagine you having only to do homework once you are at home, but then in, in your sleep you can study there instead of having to study during the evening, during the afternoon. And it, and it actually works, it helps, it helps a lot and it's amazing, <laughs> it's like, wow! <laughs> yes, I am very excited about this, I really like the subject of lucid dreams and I wish more people knew about them. <laughs> you probably can tell. Uh, I need to trade this wheat. Do you buy wheat? Please buy wheat. Oh, come on. Hello? You buy wheat? Oh, you do. Give me your money. Good. Great. Okay. Um. Let's keep going. Let's just keep it going. Uh, how much black wool do I have? I don't have much black wool. Oh, whatever. Oh, okay. Let's. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Protection, that's nice, but I can do that myself. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. There we go. Ooh, the sun is setting. Mm, should I keep going? Mm, yes, let's keep going. <laughs> So it's going to be a great thing and a useful thing. And is it is it going to be? Maybe you will be wondering: Is it easy to learn? And uh, um, I can't give you an answer because it depends from person to person. Some people manage to get the first lucid dream the very the very day they learn that it's possible to have lucid dreams. Like uh, some of you, <laughs> some of the luckiest ones among you, me. 
uh, have a lucid dream like just tonight simply because now you know okay good village there's a good village there's a village there good <laughs> simply because now you know that it's possible some people are going to take a couple more days some people are going to take weeks and some people may even take months but everybody can learn to have lucid dreams that is uh, uh, a complete truth <laughs> that is the truth everybody can learn to have lucid dreams and oh wow wow jackpot <laughs> no gold however look at all this obsidian and one more diamond that's amazing I don't need this letter now do I wow amazing stuff guys <laughs> so much obsidian I don't need all this obsidian let's get in the church here so there you have it we have survived another day in this flat court challenge <laughs> in this flat court challenge I almost took fall damage that's not good at all let's put down my bed right here and my crafting table here and here we go I'm going to ask you again question number one should I keep running from village to village keep going west and try to get uh, some more gold maybe some more diamonds too or should I stop in this very nice village here and start collecting resources settling down and start working on my giant pool table question number two <laughs> should I <laughs> should I talk about lucid dreams more start uh, giving you tips and tricks on how to get lucid dreams would you be interested in something like this you let me know and I'll see what I can do to make you guys happy thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you if you want in the next episode good night Really, Minecraft, you should lose this habit. It's like you're trying to pin me killed.